Hey guys, so today I'm just going to show you a couple of the problems that people encounter when using the trade manager and how to overcome them. All right, so a uh, few things I want to run through when just starting off using this trade manager. Always ensure that auto trading is turned on. Uh, under tools, options, always en ensure that these two boxes are ticked. All right, allow DLL imports and allow automated trading. Now, when you load your trade manager, and ensure all these boxes are ticked too, all right? Because sometimes you don't have allow live trading turned on, and when you try to take a trade, you know your your trade manager is not able to send it through. Okay, so um, one of the common problems people face when using the trade manager is that when you uh, when you click click on something like define trade and you want to buy, all right, this is all okay, but when you click on advance, you notice that the the buttons go all the way below all right if you have uh, if you have your um, your terminal open right it, it actually gets hidden below so that's even worse so one thing you can do is once you have done adjusting your values here you can click on advance again and you actually close it right so you can you can shrink it and you can expand it so that you can see the place straight button okay <clears throat> now uh, the next thing you can do, instead of doing that, if you realize that your screen is too uh, too small, you can press F7 or you can right-click, Expert Advisor, Properties. You can click on Inputs. Um, you can adjust the font size and you can adjust the scale. So what I like to do is maybe I can adjust the scale to 1.3. Alright, so what happens is that it adjusts the scale of the entire trade manager so now, even when I click on advance, I will be able to see the buttons all over there. Okay, so scale is an important feature to use, especially if your monitor is too small. All right, the next thing um, that happens is that sometimes the trade manager freezes up. And um, the reason for that is um, when you are click clicking the stop loss button, if it goes all the way to your entry price, um, there was a bug where... Um, you, you can't divide zero by zero, you know, get infinity. So we have fixed that bug. And what will happen is that uh, what we recommend is that you would place your, you know, get your entry, your stop loss, your take profit. You know, get everything right first. You know, for some that you don't want, you just disable them. Right, get everything you want to do first. And once that is done, then you click on define trade and you pick um, which value one so you want one percent you press one enter all right and this will calculate the exact value for you um, if you move your stop loss you know move it down and you move it up you notice that the the percentage of equity slowly gets to zero all right this the reason for this is because the trade manager is auto recalculating every single uh you know that the lot size and when you move it up and down it just recalculates until it gets to zero so um, what I always recommend is only after you're done with uh, all your adjustments, then you click percentage of equity, you type 1, and that's it. All right. This problem doesn't occur if you're using fixed lots. All right. See, fixed lots, you have uh, maybe a 1.0 lots. Okay. When you move your stop loss up and down, it doesn't adjust at all. Right. But the, the problem occurs when you use money and when you use percentage of equity to calculate your lot size. All right. So that should solve uh, another big problem and sometimes um, I sometimes you, you know you get to see a bar like that and it is disabled right and you click on it and it can't re-enable in this case uh, the trade manager automatically re-enables uh, re the bar when you click on it when you click on it it should re-enable but in some cases right that that doesn't happen right so I'm going to show you a way to fix that uh, first to disable it you just click across and that should disable it if sometimes it doesn't work you click the cross and click the bar okay sometimes we have problems where the clicking on it no matter what happens you you, you keep trying to reactivate it but it doesn't uh, doesn't work um, one thing you can do at least you can press f7 you can change the magic number to any random number all right that would um, that that should reset everything and you notice that all my bars are now reset all right alternatively if that doesn't work um what i like to do you close the chart and you open it again 
So, um, so imagine in this case, I have um, this close, right? And I cannot re-enable it. So I'm going to close it. And I'm going to file. I'm going to have a new chart, uh, Euro dollar again. And you'll notice that it is closed. Okay. So you press F7 and you change the magic number. They, oh, and now more things are disabled. Now this is not planned for and I will be debugging this in real time with you guys. So clicking on it doesn't work. Okay, clicking on it sometimes it works, sometimes it does, uh, doesn't does work, right? I'm clicking on stop loss and take profit, but it is not um, re-enabling. So this is pissing me off. So what I do, I'm going to change my magic number again. Still not re-enabled, all right. I am going to so euro dollar is the fourth chart now all right so i'm gonna close euro dollar and i'm going to open another chart it will not be euro dollar it'll be pound dollar then i'm going to open another chart which is euro dollar okay so in this case i just uh, there you go it's fixed now okay the problem is because sometimes the the ea it tries to map the magic number directly to a chart right in this case this this was the chart uh, the uh, euro dollar was a fourth chart and um, what we've done is I've opened pound dollar as a fourth chart and euro dollar as a fifth chart right so now it kind of resets its settings so that um, so that you're able to use the trade manager without any of the previous bars that were disabled for pound dollar yeah pound dollar this thing is not working fine still doesn't fix it uh, a short-term solution I believe is just to file new open another pound dollar chart and okay now the break even is not working click on it and it should work again same as this click on it and it should work if you want to reset everything just press f7 and here we go we just type in a random number and that should reset everything okay so when you have the problem like in pound dollar here you're not able to reset some of this don't worry, don't close anything. Just open a new chart for pound dollar and change and that should fix it already. Otherwise, just change the uh, change the magic number and it should be fixed. If all else fails, click file, open data folder. Um, we uh, go to MQL4, go to files and you just delete everything that is here. Okay. Um, that should actually uh, that's a last resort but you know for now just open another chart and it should fix it perfectly fine okay that's it for me guys i hope you enjoy <laughs> continue using this uh trade manager there will be little bugs along the way and i will do my best to keep fixing these bugs so that um we can really turn this into one of the best trade managers out there okay thank you very much peace out guys